Howdy folks and welcome back to Chug and Steel. Today I got some sling mail in from two different people and the first three slingshots I want to show you come from Tim Henry at Henry Slingshots. And if I can remember, I'll put the link in the description to his Facebook so you can go check out what all he's got. But the first one I want to show you is this one here. He calls this one the Falcon. And I've done scratched it up a little bit. I am rough on my slingshots. Very nice little slingshot, very thin. Very pocketable, very good EDC. Next one I want to show you is another Falcon. This one is uh, cut out of aluminum. He did all this himself. Very nice slingshot. And the next one, I don't know the name of it. Uh, it's kind of a copy in a way and kind of not because he puts his own twist to it. I don't know that if he's named it or not, but uh, he gave me a carbon fiber, super thin carbon fiber one. And you want to talk about EDC friendly. This thing is thinner than most. It has no flex whatsoever. I got 0.6 on here right now. And it is, I mean, there is no flex in it. So there's those three. We'll get to shoot those here in just a second. The next two come from uh, Fork Shooter TB. He hasn't named this one yet that I know of, but uh, he does excellent work. I mean, very good woodworker. Just uh, fantastic work. Of course, this one's a pinch grip slingshot. Really, really nice. And the next one is the same thing, but a TTF. And he uses the, the slot attachment. And the way he does it, when you pull back and aim, it puts a really thin little aiming area and it puts a little dimple it already just puts a dimple in there for you so you don't have to worry about grinding a dimple in your slingshot so let's shoot them a little bit we're going to start out with this one i have a 50 millimeter and 30 millimeter spinner sitting in my catch box there and let's just see how they do First shot's low because it's cold. I'll we'll hold the same aim. It should be up in the where I need it to be. Still a little low. So let me bring it up a little bit. It's really cold out here, and these sniper sling yellows do not like the cold. I think I got it. Let's go for the 30 mil. Nicked it. Let's try it again. Very comfortable to shoot, even though it's thin. Uh, everything he's done here works really well. Can't brag enough on that one. That one does uh, really good. So let's try the super thin one now. This is a .6 and it is shorter, so it's gonna take me a sec second to get used to these bands. But they will do a lot better in the cold, so I may not have to aim so high. Yeah, they're dead on. Shoots great. Tim, did a great job, brother. Let's try this one. This one feels really good in the hand. Even for those to be so thin, they they feel really good. This is full, this one's full butterfly. Sorry about that, had to take care of something real quick, but uh, 
another great job Tim fantastic slingshots all right so now let's go to fork shooter TB let's try his uh, OTT here this is his own pouches and everything he cuts his own pouches so let's uh let's give these a shot it's starting to get really cold out here and my ammo this is my outside ammo it don't fly the straightest because it does have this really old ammo and it does have small amounts of rust on it but the least amount of rust will make a ball curve you can get away with it like i'm doing right now a lot of the times with 30 at 33 feet but any further than that and it really starts to deviate but uh just letting y'all know that if y'all can see it and you actually see it curve that's why so let's uh let's give this one a shot Shoot it one more time. This one feels really good. If you're a pinch grip shooter, man, this thing feels great. There's that one. TB, excellent job, brother. Excellent job. Now, let's go to this one. Oh, yeah, this one right here. It's made out of half inch plywood and it's very pocketable this one right here is made out of three quarter inch plywood and as you can see it's ttf and uh let's see if i can get a hit with these now these are sniper sling so they may be going a little too slow for me but we'll find out I was just making sure the bands were going to stick in there because I just loaded these. So I was pulling them back and making sure they're, they're going to stay. I got a hit. They're a little slow, but uh, they're doing alright. It's about 20, about 26 degrees, I think, right now. Tell you what, out of all the TTF slingshots I've ever shot, this one is by far the easiest to aim. Like, it's pretty amazing that it automatically just gives you a dimple. I don't know if you guys can see that. But when you pull it back, it gets real narrow and it gives you a dimple. It's kind of like aiming down a tube. If the tube had a V notch in it, it's kind of crazy. Works really well. But guys. I'll put a link to TB's YouTube channel. There's TB slingshots. And here's Mr. Henry's. I wanna thank both guys for sending these out to me. And you're gonna see them more on the channel. I'll do a, a more of an in-depth review on them, one at a time. Uh, so it's probably gonna take me a little bit, but yeah. Review coming up on all these coming soon. While I got you here though, I'm gonna show you my latest custom. From Prime Fork Catapult. Give you a, it gets it back up here, it is cold. This one is called the Bull Bull. He names a lot of his slingshots after birds. It's made from carbon fiber with GTN. And I will give you guys a close-up look at this one as well. And I might as well shoot it once for you. This is going to be my first shot with it. Bull bull. Well, anyway, I paid for that one, 
and these five here were gifts these two right here come from mr fork shooter tv i want to thank him and tim henry thank you well folks if you want to see my channel grow if you're not subscribed please subscribe like comment and share the videos hit the notification bell thanks for watching